Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my wonderful listeners of the world. Welcome back to another episode as we have another caller with a special story. For today's episode, we have a caller who has phoned in to tell us about a similar experience she had with John in our first episode. What is so intriguing about this is that we are starting to see a pattern in the experiences and visitations. Colette, thank you for being our next brave caller. I'll let you lead us off. It was the strangest experience of my life. I woke up at 3 a.m. into a bright light shining through my window. At first, I thought it was just a car passing by, but then I noticed a strange figure standing outside my bedroom door. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before. So what did this figure actually look like? It was tall and slender with a pale, almost translucent skin. Its eyes were large and black, and it had no discernible nose or mouth. It communicated with me telepathically, and I could feel its presence in my mind. Did it say anything to you? Yes, it told me that it was from another planet and that it had been observing our world for some time. It seemed curious about human life and asked me many questions about our customs and behavior. How did you feel during this encounter? I was definitely scared at first, but as the conversation went on, I became more and more intrigued. These beings were so different from us, yet they seemed to possess a deep understanding of our world. It was a surreal and unforgettable experience. Do you think they will actually ever come back? I'm not sure. They strangely said they were just passing through habitable planets, examining intelligent life, and had no plans to interfere with our world. But who knows, maybe one day they will return to continue our conversation. It's a thought that both excites and terrifies me. I I really do not mean to press, Colette, but do you think these beings could have some type of connection to you? Maybe an admiration as to why they would even choose you? It's difficult for me to explain, but I've always felt a strange connection to these alien beings. Ever since I was a child, I've had these vivid dreams and visions of them. And when they finally came to visit me, it was like they were familiar to me, like I had known them my whole life. Do you think there's a reason for this connection? I can't say for sure, but I have a theory. Growing up, I always felt like I didn't quite fit in with the people around me. I was drawn to things that were considered strange or unconventional. And I believe that these alien beings are like me in that sense. They too are different and don't quite fit into our society. So you think you share some sort of connection with them because of this feeling of being an outsider? Yes, I do. And I also believe that they have been watching over me for a long time, guiding and protecting me in some way. That's why when they finally revealed themselves to me, it felt like I was reconnecting with long lost friends. Well, that's an interesting perspective. Do you think this connection will continue in the future? I hope so. I feel like there's still so much I have to learn from them. And I also believe that they have a lot to learn from us. It's a symbiotic relationship and I hope it will only grow stronger with time. This has actually been an eye-opening conversation. I really thank you, Colette, for providing your story. As always, I really want to reiterate how brave you and everyone are for sharing your stories. And I would love to have you back. Please take care. With such a story, I feel that we continue to build something. I I can't quite put a name to it, but I simply see it as evidence. When you begin to have multiple individuals experiencing similar encounters, you have to begin to pay attention. With our next caller, I think that this was the most scary as it involves a more violent encounter, but something that really ties to an ancient civilization. He even has physical evidence that I think you all will want to hear. Stay curious until next time.